I want to know how it was playing your first playoff series against the y'all. Wait, y'all was number eight. We was number y'all was eight. eight seed yep. playing against Chicago Bulls MVP Derrick Rose. <laughs> Talk to me, P. How was that? Because that was dangerous. That, that was, was your dangerous. first time too. So was he was a monster. Tell, tell us about that, I'm man. Not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. At the end of the season, I started to start because we 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 got rid of. We we got rid of uh, Jim O'Brien and Frank Vogel took over, like probably sixty games or something like that in to the season. So Frank took over, and I started starting and playing more towards the end of the year. So I'm really like that was really like the the time that I really started playing. I remember the playoffs like we're going over like schemes, matchups, who's guarding who. <laughs> and they, you know, Roy, you got so and so. You got Joe King. Uh D West, you got uh Boozer. Uh Carlos. Uh, Carlos Boozer. Yeah. Damn. Uh I don't even know who's their wing. Luol Dang. Was Dan Danny Gordon is, there? Uh I don't, uh, I don't know. I only there. remember one player. <laughs> was there. That was D Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and he going through the matchups. They going through everybody. And they like, all right, P, you got D Rose. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I just started playing. Like, yeah, it is your first playoff. This is my first exp- <laughs> like y'all trust me guarding the MVP. And I've I've, you know, I've I was a fan of D Rose before I got in the league. I saw what he was doing that year, not playing as much like you 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 and he, he was on a historic run, like crazy numbers. They like, "Yeah, you got D Rose." Like So I'm like, "All right, bet. Like I'll take the challenge." You know what I mean? It was crazy like matching up with him and seeing him in front of me, cause I'm not gonna lie, like that year, bro, he was untouchable. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was, he was untouchable. Like he he looked like he was bigger than what he was. He looked like he was taller than what he was. Like he just had a, a, a stature that was bigger than what he was. Dope as hell. And I felt I played good against him and I look at the box score, <laughs> 40. God damn! I thought I was I, I thought I was on this shit today, <laughs> and uh, I've, I I had some good moments. I had some good moments. Some games I, I made it tough for them, um, but from that series I learned a lot. Like and it to be honest, that series that series took me deep into my career in terms of like, all right, if I can guard him, I can match up with anybody, and I I wanted to smoke. Like that's where. P wanting to guard every night, wanting to guard the best player. That's where it came from. Like, if this is – because I'm not going to play nobody faster than him. I'm not going to play anybody more explosive than him. Like, and everything else, somebody taller than me, I'm I'm quicker than. Somebody, like, I can hold my own with it when it comes to strength. Like, you know what I mean? So it, it just was like, yeah, if I, can, if I can stay in front of him, if I can match up with him and make it tough for him, then I can guard anybody else in the league. And I, and I took that and ran with it. I give you all of the credit, my brother. You it was tough. <laughs> Derek Rose, what made him so special that year? Because he was on a historic run. I mean, he was dominating the league. It felt like no one could guard him every single night. He's on ESPN, the highlights. What made him so special that year? Uh, what made him so special was his finishing. Like, similar type is Ja Morant. I was just about to say that. Similar type is Ja Morant. But I think what made D. Rose so special was he was like, he had that bully in him. Like he was bigger body, he was quick, like he was fast. His first step was like, he's gonna blow by you. And his ability to contort his body, Mm. like he would do some shit where (laughs) he'll start here, come back this way, and finish back over here like, you know what I mean? Like he just had so much shit that he could do in the air to where he was literally just dodging people, like jumping in the air, just dodging you. It's and like, then he'll come out of that motherfucker. It's like the finish. air was another land for him. It was a it was like he was just floating. Yeah. It was like That's he would crazy. just float in the air. Damn. And uh I've bro, I've I've never seen like I've never seen anybody else other than Ja. Like I've never seen anybody else that had that ability. But Damian Lillard, Lillard not even like that, huh? Nah, I don't know. You ain't even do no. like that. You can't compare nah. them to. No, no, I'm thinking of somebody quick and fast that go to the. Yeah, yeah, he quick, but he don't got that. Exp- Russell, but he don't do all that spinning Russ, and yeah. all that. I'm thinking. I know what you're talking about the spin. Russ was way. more forceful. Like right. D Rose was like 
graceful. It was graceful. Like it was just an elegant force. Right. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was, he just had ability to just off a trampoline and just <laughs> did 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 uh D-Rose? Boy, he'll punch that motherfucker on you too. Scary. Oh, he, that he was the, the scariest he thing. Then he had some shoes. <laughs> yeah. He had Reeboks, didn't he? No, he was Adidas. <laughs> he was Adidas. He was Adidas. <laughs> I know it was something. Reebok, Adidas was something. I knew Adidas. he had us. I knew that. His bounce, his bounce was was incredible. Like he would sneak get you on blocks too. Like he'll chase down, block your ass too. Oh, so he was ugly. So that that, that means he was doing a lot of <laughs> ugly shit out there. Yeah. Did he try? I remember talk? one play. I and this and this is where I knew. Like, all right, never do this shit again. I the ball was out of his hands, right? And I'm hearing I'm hearing from the bench like deny it. So I'm like, because, you know, one pass away, like, I get it. Keep the ball out of his hands. Make other people play. All right. So, and I hear the bench, like, deny him the ball. Deny him the ball. So I go out, try to deny him. Bro, he back cut me so fast. My foot didn't even plant yet to <laughs> deny before he was already, like, back cut me. And, I'll, and, and, and it was just like a moment. Like, all right, never do that shit again. Like, <laughs> don't, no deny. <laughs> Coach, I'd rather guard him. Uh, and, and that, was, that was like a moment where I was like, yo, this dude is elite. Did he trash talk or say anything? Nah, like he didn't, smack that, to and you that's what fucked you series? up too because he was like such a good dude. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't trash talk. He didn't say shit. Like it wasn't even like, you know what I mean? Like little jabs that he'll, it wasn't he even, even let he didn't say he nothing, cocky. bro. He just hooped. Yeah. And that's you it. respected him. Jackie, uh, are you over there checking your price picks? Man, you know I am, man. Them play-in games was crazy. Man, I won big thanks to SGA and Brandon Ingram beating their projections. How'd you do? Man, you know I'm way up. But we can't just be talking like this and not letting the people know what we're talking about. Let the people know what Prize Picks is, man. So, Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projections. Yep. You're not competing against other people, it's just you versus the projections available. So, How'd you win, Jackie? Look, all I did was place the entry on Zach Levine to get more projected points than what he got. And then uh, uh, Scott Bourne, I made I made sure I placed, placed the entry where he did less assist than what he was going to get. And at the end of the day, I know how much money I won. I always do. But why don't you tell the people what prize picks can get if they do the same thing I did? You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, Prize Picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks will give you $100. Cha-ching! 